Okay, guys, I mean, I've been meaning to do this a while back, so um, I wanted to record my um, manifesto, whatever you want to call it, my dream of what I want. I know Vic was talking about this the other day in Denver, and we were talking about um, you got to establish what a perfect day will be like. You know, that's the day you want to, and um, he said, you got to go through it with a very fine detail. And, um, okay, I'll record it. I'll, I'll see what my perfect day would, would be like. You know, it would be that I would wake up in the morning, not coming from work or just doing a double shift or whatever, just waking up, you know. Um, seeing my beautiful wife, smiling. Um, going to, to check the laptop see my earnings from the night before see see if anybody any fish bite while I sleep I, I always wanted to be able to see the fish biting while I sleep uh, then um, go go eat breakfast have a good breakfast and um, spend time with my IPA you know start doing my income producing activity for the day spend an hour or two doing that you know doing my IPA and then go with my wife to the gym, work out, have a good workout. And hey, let's not forget that while we're doing breakfast, I'm with my kids and um, we're having all having breakfast and we're having a good time. And we're all getting ready to go to school, drop them off and then go to school. And um, go to the gym with my wife and get ready for lunch. Lunch, wherever. It could be at home. It could be out, out, out and about. It doesn't really matter. But... Me and my wife having a good lunch together, every day, every day having a good lunch, and um, go into the afternoon, well, I might do a little bit of computer work, because the IPA is done, so I could do some of the Facebook, and if there's time, or, you know, there's a little bit of boredom going on, or we could do something else. I mean, whether it's a church activity, or, or there's a charity that needs our assistance, or anything like that, I mean... You know, just have an open afternoon that you could any day pick whatever you want. That would be perfect for me, you know. If we want to do charity work, we could do charity work. If we want to do just Facebooking for the afternoon, do a little bit of Facebooking. Hey, then do Facebooking for the afternoon. Uh, just not having to, to go to work is the big thing. Then after that dinner with the kids, I, in this current situation... That I'm living right now, that's probably the most imperfect part of my day. Not having dinner with my family is probably the most imperfect part of my thing right now. To me, that was a big deal. I like to sit down and pray for dinner, and I, I look forward to having that again. Uh, if there's church activity, family home evening, whatever needs to be done, for the evening time, we'll do the family home evening, whatever, and um, spend some time with the family, homework, whatever needs to get done. And um, after that, and I said, at 10 o'clock, no more computer. Everything shuts down. Might change the hour, make it earlier, but at this point, at the computer shuts down at 10 o'clock in my house. That's going to be the rule. Everybody shuts down their computer, and we become people time. You know, we start becoming more more with people. Besides that, it's just... And the thing is, when I started doing this and thinking what my perfect day was, I said, I've had them. You know, I've been married for 20 years, and I've had perfect days. The imperfect, almost perfect days, the only imperfect part was that I, I didn't have my own time. You know? I enjoyed the time I was living with my wife. I enjoyed the time where we were we were Mormons and, and we were doing family home evenings and we were doing the things of the church. Um, of course, all of that went down the tubes and and, and um, but when it was working, my days were as close to perfect as they could be. Except I didn't have my own time. I didn't know when my bills were going to be paid. You know, I didn't know whether I had to pay the rent or the, or the light bill, which is more important. So, that's what I really want to eliminate. 
I want to eliminate the worry about, hey, the rent is coming. I, you know, I want to say, so what? That's paid for. The electrolyte bills, so what? That's paid for. Do we want to spend a weekend with the kids and everybody? Oh, let's go. Let's do it. No asking permission, no boss or anybody to ask permission to. Just go and do it. You know? Um, that, that to me is what a perfect day would be like. I mean, I've, I've had close to perfect. And that's what I want to do, get it to the perfect part. You know, um, I want to appreciate whoever is coming next in my life. I want to appreciate that person incredibly a lot, you know. But we have to be more family oriented. We have to deal. I, I definitely don't want to abandon the church. I love my God. I know trials are part of our way of being, so that's, that's the way it is, you know. As we see here, it's a beautiful day. I mean, we have some storm clouds out there, not much. But that beautiful ocean you just saw, it gets rough, it gets, you know, but there's always days that it always gets back to a day like this. And there are more days like this than there are less. The storms are less. We don't get hurricanes every day. We don't get um, winter storms every day. So that's, that's what I'm looking forward to. You know, I want to have family life back. That, you know. Ah, besides that, of course, I want financial independence, which will lead to what my dreams are. But anyway, I hope that this will help me in deciding what my perfect day will be like.